I will tell you, in my own Amazon business, my Canadian uh, sales for a long time were higher than my Australia sales. But it, last month, that changed and my Australia sales became higher than my Canada sales. So I think it depends what you're selling. In truth, I don't think I have put as much effort into my Canada sales as I have put into my Australia sales. Uh, there's probably a few kind of psychological, I want to be selling in, in Australia. Plus, I'm also aware through Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, it's important for me to make sales in Australia. So it's probably a few different kind of underlying psychology reasons why I have put more emphasis onto Australia. But uh, for a long time, as I said, I mean, my Canada store does does well. It's not like it doesn't do anything, but it's not doing as much as my Australia store now. So there's that. And what else can I tell you about Canada? The other thing about Canada is this. So let's just take, let's just take a search time. Vitamin C serum. Let's just take that. All right, so what's important to know about Canada, and this is also the same for uh, America as well. Okay, so this one I'm gonna share with you applies equally to America as it does to Canada. And it's this. In Canada, there is a significant percentage of the population that only speaks French. I think it's something like 25, 30% are French speaking in Canada. Typically, they tend to be around Quebec and around that area. So here's a huge tip for you. When you launch your product, like this vitamin C serum right here, you wanna do your parent like this, and then you wanna set up a separate child which has been translated into French and which you optimize for French. Now. I said that was also the same for um, translate for America as well, and it is for the kind of for uh, Spanish. He says trying to multitask and not doing a very good job of that at all. Oh. So if we take this search term, and let me see if I can just show you. I may have chosen the completely wrong search term, but hopefully you'll get the idea. So that's the French version of that search term. Let's just. Do it. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. You may not realize this, but there are in the States 50 million households where Spanish is the first language. 50 million, no, people, sorry, not households. 50 million people, Spanish is their first language. All right. Well, that either means there's nobody who has done this, which is just nuts to think that that's the case. Oh my goodness. Let's try it with something else because that is interesting. Let's try uh, protein because we may have found um, powder. We may have found a crazy little thing here. Let's just try. How interesting. Well, there we go. So, turns out, not many people in Canada who are selling on Amazon have figured out that most of their, well, 25% of their population actually speak French. So, if I was going to sell something in Canada, I would definitely be translating into French and optimizing for a French one too. That is nuts. How can nobody figure that? So if you want an idea for a product, if you want an idea for a product, it's this. Take the best selling products on Amazon in Canada. See if anybody's figured out that they can be selling those things in French. If they haven't, Run some tra run some stuff. Get something translated into French and sell it as a French product. Sell it as a French product. 
optimized for French people. Do that. Because if I take this same search term, and let's go over to Amazon.fr, I mean, even here it's nuts, look. People have everything in French still. It's just crazy. I mean, folks say to me, there's nothing to sell online, and it's just friggin' nuts. Anyway, that's a huge opportunity. That is huge. Let's try that same thing. I know we have, I know we're, we're, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, but I'm just super curious just for myself. Let's try now if we translate into Spanish. Protein and polvo. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just crazy. If I mean, look, there's 10 results for this protein and polvo way. Now, I don't know if I've, I've spelt that wrong or something like that, but for me, that's just crazy. Such a... the page, Well, here's the thing. So, somebody says, is the page translating for you? Yes, it kind of is. So, what's happening is Amazon has figured out that what I'm searching for is protein powder, okay? But look, what it's saying is, We've only got 10 results in Spanish for that product. 50 million people speak Spanish in America. If you were Spanish and you were looking at protein powder and you're on Amazon.com, ask yourself, what would you rather buy? Would you rather buy the one that's in English or would you rather buy the one that's in Spanish? Which would you rather buy? If you were looking at buying something, you're in China. Would you want, rather buy the one that was in Mandarin? Or would you rather buy the one that had been translated into English so you could understand it? Which would you rather buy? Something to consider. Anyway, Karen, I got a bit sidetracked there. Hope that makes sense. You should be translating. I do it all the time. And look on this. Amazon in France. Okay, so this is actually the French website and still there are people who are, who are putting on their listing, let's just click through to this, they've still got their labels in English. They sell in French, in France. Let me tell you, if you've ever been to France, you will know that people in France love speaking French. It is, it is a thing of beauty for them. To not have it in French is sacrilege for them. Absolute sacrilege. Crazy. Anyway, enough about that. That is a crazy opportunity. I just, little thing we stumbled on there. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.